hello everyone welcome to my channel and today I'm going to talk about how to do a Revit daylighting analysis through insight uh, first of all I need you to go to your analyze tab of your Revit version and check if you have these three options which is heating cooling lighting and solar it's actually in insight plugin so before I start uh, talking about how we can do the analysis let me talk about something about the inside plugin over here um, if I come to my add-ons it's not shown but it used to be showing before two or three years the reason is that um, Revit or Autodesk have discontinued to work on insight let me just quickly show you over here so this is the insight 360 by autodesk it used to be there and it used to be fully functioning but however they have discontinued um so right now you could have plugins for um revit 2019 2020 and for 2021 you can go and able to download from the accounts of Autodesk so you need to go to this um, file or this website over here for the Autodesk inside the really bad thing is that none of your uh, project results are going to be published anymore over here which is uh, which used to be before over here in my insights but it's not going to be uploaded anymore over here uh, in this case you can only download it from here um, you can also um, search it online and in this case sometime they just give you a direct link to from where you could get the plugin from and they give you over here how to do the solar analysis and lighting on Revit and they give you some um, I think they give you some kind of uh, uh, tutorial over here if you go to YouTube for other YouTubers, there are really pretty good um, results or do pretty good tutorials on this daylighting. But however, um, they are really for like three years and the minimum is two years ago when uh, Insight was really functional. However, it's not right now, but you can still correct and um, you can still go ahead with the analysis so let's start with it so I have here a very simple model I have created let's go to the level one if you can see I have a inside lighting level one because I was doing the analysis before this one I have made rooms or I have assigned rooms from here from the architecture tab then go to the rooms and I have placed them automatic and I have four rooms over here so I'm not going to do it again however even if I have rooms there are some uh, situations I face where the Revit shows that you don't have any rooms but in in real life I have it could be I don't know for what kind of reason let's say maybe the height or something but let's just go ahead so what you have to do is you need to go to the analyze tab click on lighting and you will get this uh, drop uh, this box pop up box if you can see over here this was my previous uh, simulation I have done and this will be the results but I will go to the new analysis press on go And you will be able to get this um, box over here this is actually the old one as you can see this is the previous one I have so it will automatically just uh, pop up in front of you um, I, what I have done was daylighting factor or daylight factor analysis over here there are many other options which is illuminance analysis in illuminance you can um, choose your days uh, any kind of what kind of skies do you like um, the date and time um, it's already default as 2010 you could go to 
a specific year and do your analysis or simulation for this one you could choose the date and time this is for illuminance analysis um, you can change whether it's a lux or food candle and you could also uh, change the lower or upper threshold and the, uh, the resolution could be either 12 inch grid or 72 inch grid 72 of course it will take much more time i just prefer to stick to 12 inch in daylight factor however this simulation will be independent of time and date that means you cannot select any kind of time or date it's going to be solely depending on the location of the project um, we have also daylight autonomy that is um, the autonomy or annual daylight exposure uh, over your uh, project uh, which is SDA and SEE if you uh, are familiar with this term it's used in late uh, lighting analysis um, it's already taken for one year again here uh, you could do a lead v4 or version 4 analysis over here where they include every kind of lead threshold and uh, at the end lastly we have solar access that means how much how much of the surface or uh, how much of the solar is accessed on the surface this could be easy to locate where you want to place any kind of uh, solar PV panels or something like that and here you are able to select one day and that a time range of that day so let's suppose that we do it uh, do an, an illuminance analysis I already have a lighting um, analysis over here so as you can see um, just let me just close over here and take a good look over here this is the percentage this is daylight factor um, I actually hid the ceiling over here to get a good view because my for some reason the, the, the results was not showing on a plan view that's why I had to stick with this one this is another drawback for this inside it comes sometimes works in some files and sometimes doesn't I am going to show you another example of a project where it's very nicely uh, showing on my plan so here it is as you can see over here and you could go and um, do another analysis let's say I want to do a illuminance you can select your level from here so I will choose level 1 and uh, I will just keep this as it is and say check price now this is because uh, I have a student version uh, it will uh, differ in your cases so it has zero credits it's a very free version and I will start analysis when you start analysis this is a pop-up uh, you have you will be coming across and say okay and after some time you will get this kind of pop-up which is showing that your project is a saved and it's running the analysis in the cloud and you say okay and you can go ahead and work on your project you can uh, just work normally and whenever the analysis is ready they will give you a pop-up uh, to notification to let you know that your project is done now for example i have done this in another project over here and i have the inside lighting for the first floor and the second floor here it's working fine as you can see for the 2d view this is again the same lighting daylight factor and as you can see um, it's showing very nicely um, i could ha also show you there is also a schedule um, created by the inside where you will get all the schedule for the rooms area and the daylight factors and everything over here uh, this is given in align United Arab Emirates uh, this is the location of the project um, to show you a snippet of how other analysis would look like this is something uh, which is called the SDA or the daylight autonomy if I zoom in 
um, you will get this one which is either failed or passed as you can see it's failed almost most of the spaces it's because of the location and this is one of the ground floor for the same project over here and um, if I can go back to here um, these are the general the all these uh, results I have done this is the most new one which I have done for the lead and let's see how this results show so as I share as I said that the bigger the project the more the time that needs to load and as you can see there is a lighting analysis over here which is saying that there is zero point for it um, it's just four percent passing 82 percent is below the threshold uh, 40 per 14 percent is above threshold you can check this one over here so that means it's a really mm, not good project and um, again this is the results you have been getting so let's try to get into the ground floor hopefully it will be showing me the 2d floors and yes so this will be this is the 2d plan that is giving me by the rivet it's the lead version 4 and you can see that the project is getting very less um, daylight over here and yes so how you can take this picture or take this uh, um, results uh, what I do usually is that I just turn it into a JPEG which it is by export go a bit down over here images I click on image and then uh, what I do is I take the visible portion of the current window and I change the pixel it's right now it's 3000 pixels it's more than enough but um, uh, you can also turn it into 4000 if you want and I just save it wherever it is applicable and just say ok and the picture will be saved so that's all about this um, if you have any kind of suggestions and um, any questions about this uh, feel free to let me know uh, next time I'm going to be covering the heating or cooling although I don't use much of the heating cooling uh, on Revit I tend to do that on ISVE but I will be happy to show you and uh, take care for the next time bye